Hi beauty queens, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to be reviewing the Patrick Star One Size, you guys. And yeah, I really wanted this powder. We already know Patrick Star looks snatched every time my beauty queen so yeah i want to review this powder and see what it do because i'm excited because i know patrick star makeup is the bomb all right my my beauty queens I already have my foundation on i already have my eyes done everything done my beauty queen so yeah i just want to try out this powder and let's see what it do so the powders i picked up both powders i picked up dark deep which is o2 this is the color right here. This is like the little packaging right here. O slash S, one size. Thought that was a very cute little name. Very beautiful Barbie pink little packaging with the little red. I think that is so beautiful. And here's what the color looks like right here. My My Beauty Queen, so yeah, this is in the shade, um, what did I say, Deep Dark, One Size Ultimate Setting Powder. Yeah, you guys, and you get point, no, what do you get? You get 34.5 grams, and this is the Dark Deep right here. Let me swatch it for you guys. And so then you just like open this up right here. And then this is what it looks like right there. And it's so cute. Got the little O slash S in there, you guys. And then it came with these little two things. But, you know, I'm working on my editing. So I just took that off prior to that. So, yeah, this is what the um, dark deep look like. And like I said, very cute packaging. O S for one size. I think this is very pretty packaging super happy that i picked this up and then the other one i purchased is the translucent in 01 here's what it looked like same box os for one size and here's what that looks like same packaging of course and then this when you open it that's what the powder looks like right there and then also, I'm going to keep these tops off because I'm going to be using these. So I'm going to keep the tops off on my beauty queens. And also, he had a sponge and I picked that up as well. And it says one size on there. Nice, nice size, you guys. This is a big sponge. This cover a lot of area. So yeah, you guys, this is the sponge. One size. So yeah, my beauty queens, let us get into it. Like I said, I already did my foundation. So I'm just going to get my mirror that I always forget every time I sit down and film. So I'm going to get my mirror and I'm just going to go over the foundation. And if you guys are wondering what foundation I'm wearing, I'm wearing my Pat McGrath Skin Fetish Foundation in the shade 29. And if you guys didn't see my upload for today, my Complexion Sunday, I'm reviewing this foundation. So my my beauty queens, please, after this video, after the video, head over and see my Complexion Sunday for the today and see what I think about this Pat McGrath Skin Finish Fetish, I'm sorry, Skin Fetish Foundation in the shade 29. Okay, so I'm just going to, because I didn't put no powder on, so I'm just going to Blend this back out. All right, my beauty queens. So now I'm going to go in with my Pat McGrath concealer in the shade 30 and just conceal under my eyes a little bit. And then we're going to go in with the powder. So I'm just going to put a little bit of this underneath my eyes. Then I'm going to go in with my Sephora Pro Sculpting Brush in 99. And here's what it looks like. And then we're just going to blend this out, cover up some of that darkness under the eyes. So here's what we're looking like right here. All right, now that we did that, my beauty queens, so now I'm going to take my Patrick Star One Size Ultimate Setting Powder in the shade Deep. And we're going to set my whole face with that. So I'm going to put it inside the cap. Put a little bit inside the cap. 
And here's what the cutter right here looks like in dark deep right here. Let's see if I can swatch this for you. So this is dark deep right there. So that's what that looks like. So now I'm going to take this powder puff and I'm just going to swirl it in there. And that's what it looks like. And do it together. So yeah, and then just go all over my face with it. All right, my beauty queens, I'm gonna take a little more, put it in the cap. It's new, so it's kind of stiff. So let me take a little more, put it in the cap. Get my, right here. And then I'm just gonna, you know, go like this and put it all over my face. This is beautiful, my, my beauty queens. You see how it's like blurring the skin? This is very beautiful. I like this. The sponge is um very soft as well. So yeah, this is very, very soft. Let's go down my neck. So yeah, my beauty queens, let me know what you think. This is very beautiful. It's a little on a, well, it ain't too red, but it's a little red. But I don't care because we're going to go in with the other powder. But as you can see, it is flawless. You don't see no pores, and I wouldn't expect nothing less. From Patrick Starr, because like I said, his foundation, his application, his makeup is always on point. So I would not expect nothing less from Patrick Starr brand. And I didn't try the powder that he released or the um, other powder that he had. But I'm really enjoying this powder and I'm really happy that I picked this powder up. Alright, so now my beauty queens, I'm going to take... My other Pat McGrath concealer in MD23 and just highlight and see what we're working with with the lighter powder. So this is Pat McGrath concealer in MD23. And put a little bit right here. All right, so now let's go in, you know what, because I put that set my face with the powder. I just want to go in with a little bit of um, Fix Plus so I don't <clears throat> make my foundation patchy. And let's see what it's doing. Sorry about that, you guys. That's my little puppy, Reese. She act like nobody can walk past the door or talk or anything like that outside. So I apologize for her. <laughs> All right, so we're blending this out. All right, my beauty queens, now that we have that blended out right there, now we're going to go in with the setting, the ultimate setting powder in translucent. So I'm going to put a little bit of this in the cap.
I'll be right back. Let me go see what's going on with my little puppy. All right, my, my beauty queens, I'm back. I'm sorry about that. My dog, I don't know. She's just, she act like nobody can't come by, but someone came by with their dog, so that was all a fuss about. All right, so back to um, what I was saying, my, my beauty queens. So this is the translucent powder right here, and we're going to just take this and see how this look and set under the eye. So I don't really do too much setting. Cause like I said, I'm older. Mm, sorry about that. Like I said, I'm older and it will, uh, my under eyes will get uh, creasy real quick. But oh my goodness, look at that, my beauty queens. So this is the translucent powder under this eye. This is no powder, translucent powder, no powder. So yeah, this is nice. I'm happy I picked up both cause I was thinking like the um, dark deep powder. Look at this. This is beautiful powder, no powder. I was thinking that the dark deep powder would be too um deep for me to set under my eye, but it's nice for my whole face. And two, when I like to um set my concealer or my color corrector before going in with my foundation, that will be nice. But oh my goodness, my my beauty queens, look at this. This is beautiful. Look at the finish of this powder. So this is the translucent one size powder by Patrick Star. So yeah, my my beauty queens, I love this look. So I'm gonna go off camera. I'm gonna add my bronzer. I'm gonna add my blush. And yeah, my my beauty queens, I'm gonna come back with the finished look. But I'm super excited about this powder. Like I said, I didn't expect nothing less from Patrick Star because his face is always beat. So yeah, I wasn't expecting nothing less from these powders. So yeah, my my beauty queens, I'll be right back with the finished look. Don't go nowhere. All right, my my beauty queens, I'm back with the finished look. Oh my God, I am so, so loving this Patrick Star powder. Look at my face. It completely looks airbrush. And like I said, I don't bake. I don't do all that. So this translucent powder, oh my God, you guys, look at my under eye. It is super beautiful. And then I set my face with the darker one right here. So overall, my, my beauty queens, I love the powder. I'm happy I picked it up. And just to give you a little, um, dump that right quick. Just to give you a little, um, information about the powder. Let me close these up. So like I said, it's by Patrick Star. It's called the One Size. Very beautiful packaging. Love the little OS for one size. Um, You guys, the net weight is 34.5 grams. And how much were they? So they were $30 a piece. And then I used 500 points to get $10 off. So yeah, each powder was $10. I mean, I'm sorry. Each powder was $30. And then the Ultimate Powder Puff right here, which is super soft. It feels very durable. That was $14, and I had I received um, a percentage off this as well. So, yeah, my, my beauty queens, let me know what you think. I'm loving this. I look airbrush. I, don't, I look like I don't have not one pore on my face. Look at this. This is super beautiful. Like I said, I don't expect nothing less from Patrick Starr because his makeup is always beat. So you guys, if you wanna know what I um, put on my face when I went off camera, so for my bronzer, I went in with my Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Bronzer in the shade three, and here's what we looking like. You guys already know what this bronzer look like, but yeah, um, my, my beauty queens, this is the shade three. Then I went in with my pal my Pat McGrath Elson in 003. First, I went in with my Elson 2 from the little mini from the trio right here. And this one is more of like an orange or red. So this really didn't, I didn't really like this one with my red top. But yeah, so this, I went in with Elson 2 first. So then I decided that I would, um, I'd rather go with Elson 1. And then this is what Elson 1 looks like. It's more of a true red. So yeah, I went in with the Elson one. 
For my blush, I went in with the Milani Coco Flacita, you guys, and I did a review on this blush as well as um, another blush. So if you guys interested in seeing that, um, head over after this video, after this one, yeah, watch my um, review and uh, tutorial on the Milani New Baked Fall Blushes. But here's what we look like right here. So that's the blush that I have on. For my highlighter, I went in with my Dior Glow Face Palette. And here's what this looks like right here. Very beautiful. So yeah, my, my beauty queens, like I said, let me know what you think. Let me know if you picked it up. Let me know if you passed. Let me know if you was just waiting to see if it was dark girl skin friendly or how the translucent rocked on dark skin or how deep was the dark deep powder. So yeah, please feel free to leave your comments down below, your questions down below. Um, please don't forget. Oh, one more thing. So yeah, I did. I didn't swatch the translucent. So yeah, this is the dark deep right here. And then this is the translucent and you see it look like it's pretty white. But as you can see, when I set under my eyes, you don't get not none of that. So yeah, my my beauty queens. Yeah, very beautiful powder. So yeah, like I was saying, my beauty queens, don't forget to like comment, subscribe. Until next time, my beauty queens, stay safe. Stay well. Kisses. Peace out.